Hello and welcome to the Christmas edition of the MBS News. I'm Dr. Janelle Charles-Williams. I am Naika Walsh. Merry Christmas from the Medical Benefits Board, management and staff. And I am Delicia Bonney at the Heritage Key, a duty-free shopping area and our location for today. The Medical Benefit Scheme's headquarters and its main pharmacy are located within close proximity of the Heritage Key, where we are today taking in the sights and sounds of Christmas 2021. As is tradition, our pharmacies will close at year-end for stock taking. Notwithstanding, we will ensure that our beneficiaries have adequate supply of medication on hand during the long holidays. Our beneficiaries should be mindful of our stock taking hours. They begin on the 24th of December. And although you would have dropped off your prescription previously, we would still be able to accommodate you and you'll be able to get your medication, although the pharmacies are closed. Especially our epileptics and asthmatics, we encourage you to come in, make sure you have enough medication on hand because we wouldn't want you to have any unfortunate mishaps during the Christmas season. We encourage all our beneficiaries to exercise moderation during the festivities and to stay safe. Thank you, Janelle, for the timely reminders. We are celebrating another Christmas in the shadows of COVID-19, but we are appreciative of the significant gains we have made in keeping each other safe. As we celebrate Christmas 2021 with family and friends, let us not throw caution to the wind. Let us continue to apply all COVID-19 protocols to keep us safe into 2022 and beyond, bearing in mind threats being posed by the novel coronavirus. In terms of the holiday season coming up, as much as we all want to get together and be social, we do not want to lose the ground and the gains that have been so hard fought for over the past two years. So please continue to be safe, continue to actually exhibit all of the caution and, and critical thinking that we've been doing thus far. Um, do not throw caution to the wind, do not get reckless during the holiday season. Continue to social distance as much as possible. Keep sanitizing, keep wearing the masks. And even though the state of emergency may be lifted and the curfew may be gone, still be responsible with your interactions after hours. In regards to the new variant of concern, the Omicron, uh, right now there's not enough data to suggest that we need to panic about it just yet. It is something of concern, meaning there's enough scientific research being done on the variant that makes us want to keep our eyes on it. We still do not have any evidence that this variant is going to be any more deadly or even more so infectious than, it, than any of the previous variants have been but we just want to keep our eyes on it for now. So there's no cause for panic in the immediate present. Um, in terms of booster shots, so far we've been having very good success with the vaccination program locally uh, with the five different vaccines that we do have. The boosters are really intended for persons who need that little extra protection. So anyone who in fact is over the age of 65, who's known to be immunocompromised, who has uh, got a breakthrough case of a COVID-19 infection even after being fully vaccinated or who works directly with COVID-19 patients on a daily basis. These are the people that really should go about getting their boosters as soon as possible. For the rest of the general population, it may not be necessary just yet. If you are in fact 18 years old or even younger, uh, the booster may not necessarily be a necessity for you, especially if you haven't had any breakthrough cases, you're not known to be immunocompromised, or you don't do a lot of interactions with COVID-19 positive patients. Taking care of our health is also one of several strategies to reduce the threats of COVID-19. Delicia, what is the latest on the 12 Months of Wellness Challenge? Well, Naika, we are in the final month of our year-long challenge. December focuses on coping strategies to reduce stress. Our grand prize ceremony will be in early January. We encourage our beneficiaries and staff to purposefully practice gratitude in 2022 by recording three new things daily for which they are grateful. These practices can improve resilience, increase feelings of happiness, and foster hope in the future. And with gratitude, we share highlights of our Christmas 2021 at the Medical Benefit Scheme and some bloopers from our MBS News this year.
We encourage employers and self-employed persons to get to know the invigilator responsible for their zone. Our invigilator... Hello and welcome to the MBS News Update. I'm reporting from the Antigua Public Market where you can get fresh fruits, vegetables, fish and... <laughs> Naika, <laughs> it would be a shame if we... <laughs> and I'm Delicia Bonnie on Neva Street, home to our headquarters and the backdrop for public... No. And I'm Delicia Bonnie on Neva Street, home to our headquarters and backdrop for special events such as our annual heartbeat walk and public screenings. My smile is like... Shaking. You ready? And I'm Delicia Bonnie on Neva Street, home to our headquarters and the backdrop for our public events such as our public. <laughs> Danielle, bye. Just bye. Bye. <laughs> Record. And I am Delicia Bonnie reporting from the beautiful Tamron Hills Villa and Suites to capture the picturesque segment of the St. Mary's Parish and home to the Medical Benefit Scheme Pharmacy. <laughs> How are we doing? Hey, awesome photos, Delicia. And here is another bear. <laughs> I'm on the property of Carlisle Bay in the St. Mary's Parish, soaking in the sunshine and fresh air. Key ingredients. What we eat are also just as important. Here are a few tips on how to include adequate vegetables in your diet. That was totally off script. <laughs> Our final MBS News for 2021. I'm Dr. Janelle Charles Williams. I am Naika Walsh. And I am Delicia Bond. Happy holidays! <laughs>